everyone welcome to another what matters monday i'm gonna be talking about like what life is like for clinical students in veterinary school at least for people that go to missouri um because that's obviously all i know about um so we start like or figuring out our schedules for clinics in january of second year so um we are guaranteed one off block that we want and then everything else between off blocks electives timing of like if we want a certain rotation at a certain time of the year, all of that gets put into like computer system of our rankings and just spits it back out at us. So we do that in January of second year and get it back um, by spring break. Um, so like late March of second year, so we can start planning for our all flag scheduling externships and that sort of thing. Um, we have altogether 12 blocks because we do start really early in our third year. Um, and they're six to seven weeks long, depending on just like the timing of things. We get two off blocks. Um, so that is our time to do whatever we want. Some people take them like around the NAVLI to study or like to celebrate after, or if they like want their wedding at a certain time of the year, they'll take their off block for that. Um, during those off blocks, the only thing that we have to do is four weeks of an off-campus preceptorship. So basically like a graded externship anywhere you want. It's just a way to make sure that we're getting like real life um, experience outside of the clinic because obviously like normal clinics don't run the way a school does. But um, either way, the rest of the time is yours besides for those four weeks you have to do. Um, and then you also get two two-week off blocks, like randomly thrown in your schedule besides your two big off blocks. Um, if you're in clinics, like scheduled to be in clinics over Christmas and New Year's during that block, you get to preference which week you'd rather have off, either Christmas or New Year's. Um, you're not guaranteed to get the one you want, but you are guaranteed a week off so that you can go home and see your family if you want. Um, thankfully, I have both of my Christmas blocks off uh, so I get to be with my family but um, I don't get to see them for Thanksgiving now because you don't get off for that um, then we have seven required blocks of the 12 we don't track at Missouri so everyone has to take all of the same required seven blocks equine fluid animal local surgery anesthesia and radiology are grouped together um, pathology um, and maybe I counted wrong um, but yeah, and then we also have five two-week blocks, so oncology, ECC, internal, opto, and therio, um, and then we also get five two-week electives, so that can be anything you want. You can repeat one of the required ones. We also have, like, different electives at school you can take, like, cardio isn't required, but I'm taking that because I kind of suck at cardio, and it might be important if I'm being a small animal emergency vet um, to, like, know what a, an arrhythmia sounds like, but um, I did three of them off campus, um, which was really fun because, obviously, if, like, you've seen me, I traveled and did, like, a cross-country road trip and got to um, just get more real-life off-campus experience, um, so if that's something possible at your school, I definitely suggest it. It just gets you out and about instead of being stuck in one place for two years. Um, but so like your typical day, depending on the rotation, um, I can only really speak for the ones I've done actually on campus. So that would be like community practice and emergency and like a week of equine until COVID hit. Um, but basically you arrive anywhere between like six and like 7 a.m. Um, most rotations you'll have inpatients that you have to go in and take care of their 8 a.m. treatments and um, write their soap before morning rounds um, when you talk about how they your patient did the past 24 hours, etc. And you need all that done usually by 8 a.m. So however early that means you have to come in, that that's what you do. Um, then after you round, you see appointments throughout the day. Um, it depends on the caseload, how many students are on the rotation, but you at least like see like one to two cases per day. And then you write their discharges. You have to like submit for their testing, draw blood, etc. All that throughout the day. Um, some rotations round again in the afternoon. Um, and then you basically just 
eat whenever you have the chance. Um, I know an emergency, I literally just like lived off of my shakes and like brought in like carrots and like pretzels, like little things I could grab throughout the day because I knew I was not sitting down. Um, and like, I really don't remember ever being able to like sit down and eat a full lunch without being like interrupted from like being pulled in 10 different directions. Um, but, and then you like kind of go home anywhere between like five and seven, maybe. It's like literally hit or miss. If you guys finish up early for the day and you don't have any more appointments, you can go home. But if your appointments are taking extra long or you're waiting on other services to finish stuff up on your case, then you just stay and you're like eight to nine hour day turns into a 12 hour day and there's nothing you do about it. So um, basically uh, some rotations also have overnight shifts. So on top of your normal day, like seven to five, whatever it may be, you are expected to go home, eat dinner, let your dog out and come back and do hourly treatments all night. Um, which is like not that fun because you obviously just like gave it your all during the day and now you have to come back to do it again. Um, some rotations have on-call shifts, so you might not get called in, but like I was during mine on equine at least. Um, so you would be at school all day and you could get called in at midnight, be there till 4.30 a.m. on an emergency surgery, writing up the paperwork, doing everything, and then be expected to show up at 7 a.m. 7 a.m. again for your normal day and if it's like a normal day and your caseload is high and everything's crazy you don't get to go home you have to do your normal day on two hours of sleep um but if you're lucky your like clinician will let you leave a little early to get some well-needed rest um most rotations have like some sort of weekend duties so whether it be like just going in to do like your 8 a.m. treatments and your soap or um, some rotations make you do small animal ICU rotations or walk the blood donor dogs or take care of the blood donor cats. Um, basically, we are just un not unpaid employees of the VHC. Um, but we're getting experience, so it's worth it, right? Um, but yeah, so you could be working all day in the ICU or even like on your own rotation. So like equine hat, like students staff their ICU, but for community practice, we staffed um, the emergency department on Saturdays. Um, so um, there's that. Um, there's also like crazy overnight shifts for equine food animal at least. And for equine, one Saturday I had to go from 9 p.m. to 8 a.m. and you can't sleep. So I binge watched a lot of the office and did work for my coaching job, which like, it kept me up all night. I definitely chugged some pre-workout at like 3 a.m. But, and it's just a little bit scary to be there um, overnight. But experience, right? Um, so then each rotation also has like their own projects or assignments, quizzes sort of thing. Um, I know some rotations make uh, students lead rounds sometimes. And then like for community, we had like 12 different quizzes on what we talked about um, in rounds. So just like, an, there's not really that many big tests you have to study for, at least that I've had. It's more like based off what rounds topics were and more like focused questions, if that makes sense. So you don't really have to worry about spending as much time studying for things as you did on didactics, but there's definitely still like written portions of tests. But I think that like describes clinics. It's definitely not like a Monday through Friday type thing. It's like a 24 seven, you can't do anything but clinics. That's why I had to quit my job and now I have like my online job. But um, yeah, it definitely, it takes commitment, it takes work, but everyone survives, everyone does it and then when you're a veterinarian, you know, it has paid off and you have gotten the experience you needed. So um, if anyone has like Missouri specific questions or something that you think I can answer, feel free to comment below or DM me. I am always here to answer your questions. But yeah, have a great day, everyone.